All right, it's May 1st. The weather has been crazy this whole week. I mean, springtime in New England is always kind of crazy. But I've owned the, uh, the DJI Air 2S now for a week, flying it around all kinds of places, all kinds of conditions. I feel very comfortable giving it a review. I wanted to, uh, to get some time in with it first. And uh, here's my impressions of it. I found a lot of good, a couple of things that I think DJI needs to fix right away, and, uh, and everything in between. So stick around, check out my video, and let's get into it. Okay, so now that I've had the chance to fly this drone for a week, yeah, I'm really impressed. I gotta tell you, very, very, I, this is gonna be my new go-to drone. Now, keep in mind, I've, I'm coming off of using the Mavic 2 Pro. I've used this drone since I was released. It's been my go-to, love this drone. I'm gonna sell it. Here is why. When they announced this drone, I didn't know what to expect. Um, now, also keep in mind something else. I am not a professional photographer or videographer. This review that I'm gonna give you is coming from the Everyday Drone Pilot. I do have my Pilot 107, so I, I am a licensed pilot, but um, I don't do commercial work for a living. I've done some commercial jobs, but I'm not at the point where I'm doing it for a living. So just keep in mind, it's, it's an everyday flyer's perspective. When they announced this, I didn't know what to expect. I mean, was it a money grab? Was it uh, minimal enhancements? I was optimistic because I, the Mini, what DJI did from changing the original Mini to the Mini 2, the technology they packed into it, they changed it from a toy with Wi-Fi in 2.7K to a drone with OcuSync in 4K that could fit in my pocket, my cargo show pockets where I'm going on a hike and I take it out when I get to where my destination is on the top of the mountain. So when they did that upgrade, it made me optimistic about this one. Now they released it. I ran up to Best Buy after watching the drone reviewers out there, the Billy Kyles, the original Dobos, Drone Valleys, Tom Tech Time, I don't want to miss anybody, Ken Heron out there. And then I watched professional videographers and photographers out there, the, the Peter McKinnons, the Sam Colders, checked out the stats on DJI's website on this, and I ran out to Best Buy and bought it. On a side note, DJI, that relationship you have with Best Buy, you release it, and that day it's available. I, I, I like that. If you keep that going, I, I'm happy about that. But it also takes away the risk reward for me. I buy it, if I don't like it, I can always return it at Best Buy. Very nice, clean, easy, and simple. But anyway, I will not be returning this. The 5.4K is impressive, it's for real. The details, I, I could not believe it. I got that sunrise over the Newport Bridge and I was just taking screenshots of the video. They were so detailed, using them like photos. Then the photos themselves, I mean, that 20 megapixel, it is so detailed oriented. I'm pinching in and it's so nice and clean. And the dark area in that low light was so dark that there was no noise, it just, it really took a, a, amazing photos. Very impressive. Everything else on this drone, I mean, it has all the other features. It shoots in 4K 60. It does crop in two times, which I'm hoping they change. They didn't have that in the Mavic Air 2 with the half-inch sensor, so I'm hoping something that they could fix with an up. Uh, I don't know why they did it, but maybe they can't, or maybe they can, I don't know. Anyway, it, it crops in, I'm sorry, it zooms in four times in the 4K. It shoots in 2.7, zooms in six times. It shoots in 1080, zooms in eight times. It also has 120 frames per second. I never used a 240 on its predecessor, but the 120 I will use all the time. It, um, it doesn't have the variable uh, aperture like the Mavic 2 Pro. So let's go over the elephant in the room. I didn't find it as big of an issue. The ND filters work great. Not to mention when Polo Pro comes out with their variable ND filter, it's going to be released at the end of May, and I buy that one, it's just going to make it that much easier or that much more, more of a non-issue. Um, the sharpness, my God. One of my issues I had with the Mavic 2 Pro to great photos, but the videos could be soft at times. These videos are rock solid, detailed, very crisp. The photos, again, very sharp. So I don't feel like I'm missing out anything. If not, I feel like I got better than that one inch sensor. I feel like it's, I feel like it's achieving what I was hoping that that one would have done. But, um, 
the size, I fell in love with it when it was with the original Mavic 2 that was released, or Mavic Air 2 from last year, and I'm happy they kept it at that same size. This compactability is awesome. I mean, you know, that's small enough. I know I get it coming from the Phantom and everything, but this size and the power that it pushes out, same speed, the 31 miles, uh, the, I'm sorry, <laughs> about the same speed, if not a little bit slower, but um, the speed in this one, being smaller, I, I use tripod mode or cinematic mode a little bit more so it doesn't come off jerky because it is kind of quick. Uh, the 31 minutes of flight time, none of them work the actual amount of time they say. I think they just hover it in a windproof area. It felt like it was going a little bit faster, but the weather was crazy out here with a lot of high winds this week. So I got to keep using it more and I'll, I'll give you a better idea on that. But I did feel like the battery was, was going through it a little bit quicker, but I, I'll let you know more. Speaking of wind, this drone and the Mavic Air 2 that was released last year, best drones I've ever had dealing with the wind. I mean, everything, those panning shots in these high heavy winds, you know, 20 miles an hour, gusts almost 50. It was, it was holding its own. I did end up getting wind warnings and it scared the crap out of me. It started buzzing and beeping and vibrating on the controller. It, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's jarring a bit, but um, they didn't come easy. Now that could just be a sensitivity setting, but in situations that I knew I would have got a wind warning with the Mavic 2 Pro, I did not get it with this one. And again, rock solid. I, I did a little test. Um, the, the drone is bouncing all around the air. I put it out at that house near the Dumplin' Islands and I did a time lapse. And now keep in mind, again, mid 20s winds, gusts in the 40s, did a time lapse and it didn't keep it exactly rock solid, but so tight. Now I didn't do anything to try to stabilize it any more than what came out of the drone. Uh, very quiet, you know, these, these props. I mean, we've, we've kind of gotten used to that point. The sensors, I don't know how much more critical these top ones are gonna be. It looks kind of like a Porsche on it, but um, I'm not missing the side sensors like the, uh, the Mavic 2 Pro has. The O3, the Ocusync 3 is for real, it's legit. I, I deliberately went to areas that I had some interference with the 2 Pro and the Mini 2 did not get any interference with this one. The far antenna is for real. And I'm not a range hound. I know it has a 20 kilometers. I, I, I'm just worried about areas that interference and make sure I can full control this drone. And it's rock solid. That O3 Oxygen 3 is incredible. It does have the touch to focus like the Mavic 2 Pro. It um, has auto and manual focus, has all the intelligent modes, you know, as you go through a drone, a helix, that kind of stuff. It has after track 4.0. Now, I don't use Active, Active Track a lot. I use it when I'm on my booster board here and there. So I don't do anything crazy with it. But what's cool is if it does lose you as you go over like around a tree or, or something, it'll pick you right back up. It, it also has um, point, of point of interest uh, and also showcase, I think it is. I forget the other name of it, uh, where you can really focus in and keep it that, that, that point of interest locked center while you go around it. It's, um, it has some really, really cool features. The 10-bit log videos now what i like about this drone again not a professional i'm going to grow with this drone having that log ability and the full 10 bit and and color correcting after shooting raw with it as well uh, i'm doing it more and more where i am getting used to it and adjusting and my experience level growing with it so i like that this is going to help me get into that uh, you know into that next stage of my experience easy to fly easy to use but that's come to be expected I've gotten used to the new controller. Uh, they've had it in the last three drones, the, uh, the Mavic Air 2 and the two Minis. So I've gotten very comfortable with that one with the, uh, the phone going above it. Um, very, very impressive. If you do have a small controller, you can work it with it, but it does not get the full O3 capability. I think it has like the Oxync 2. I think it kind of downgrades to that one, but Oxync 2 is nothing to sneeze at. I, although it was getting a little glitchy for me. So just something to keep in mind. All right. This drone, again, is, is my new go-to. This compactability, the amount of technology in this size drone and the warning sensor has me absolutely sold going away from the Mavic 2 Pro. Now, there was a couple of issues that I want to make sure I mention, and I'm hoping DJI, I'm going to send it in to them if they haven't already received it from others. One, I know I've heard it from others. Uh, I've gotten the props in the shot on the master shots, so that's something to keep in mind. Only during one segment of it, it gets a, a few different views. But something else that happened to me twice, and it hasn't happened again, but I'm doing this panning as I'm coming across, got a nice side shot, and all of a sudden the whole drone just jerks. And, and, and I'll show it on the screen here. So it did happen twice, and it got me really scared and nervous. So I'm gonna send that into DJI along with the flight records so they can you know, look at it and make a determination, something they can fix with their firmware. 
Again, nothing crazy, but it did start on me. Um, I don't know what else I can say about this. It, it, it is very, very impressive. So, but that's all I got. I will continue to make more videos with this. I'll post them and maybe I'll make a, a further review down the road, a 30 day or something like that. But, uh, but from your everyday flyer, I gotta tell you, I am extremely impressed with the capabilities and the performance that this drone has done. And it, it is definitely my new go-to. So that's it. That's all I got for today's video. If you enjoyed it or if you, you, know, you liked it, whatever, hit, give me a little thumbs up if you want. If you want to discuss anything that I discussed or maybe something I missed, hit me up below. Let's go have a good conversation. And if you want to see more, subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Later.